Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel again. This is Vupesh Sharma. Today we'll be talking about how to beautify your any terminal Ubuntu or a Linux terminal. The reason why we you know we need this things to be implemented in our in our environment because we want to get our job easy. I mean on a day to day basis we need to run hundreds of commands and we cannot run on this old system where we don't have any kind of aliases and all the advanced features like coloring and all that. Today we'll be understanding how to make all these things pretty easy by installing certain things onto your system and then you're good to go. So your old legacy system with something look like on the left hand side and after installing a couple of important commands, you'll be having system something like this on the right hand side. See, this is my laptop. Who we'll page up the late laptop and then you can see the GitHub repository is coming beautifully. I can change the queue namespace pretty quickly. I can change the context pretty quickly. You can see the output is also colored properly, the output of kubectl commands. So let's get started and see how we can achieve those things. So we need to install these softwares on our machine and we'll see how we can do it quickly from a you know proper documentation. So let's you know, jump into the uh, the actual working session of this. So I've already opened this you know GitHub repository or give GitHub documentation on this. So let's start with one by one. Okay. So as we as, as you know name says we need to beautify our terminal so that it becomes pretty easy to uh, working style. So I will first of all install ZSH on my Ubuntu machine. I'll come here and just go simply clear since my screen is already looking very nice, but I'll run these commands again so that it becomes so clear for everyone. Okay, so I need to just make sure that I'm able to I'm having ZSH updated on my machine. Running these commands for the sake of everybody's understanding, and then it might say that it is already installed, but you need to run it. This command, yeah, it is already installed. You can quickly see the version also. See the version is this. I'll just clear the screen, and then I'll install it. Oh my, that this is another very good, uh, I would say, editor to make sure that you are able to work properly onto your machine with certain shortcuts. So. I'll just do this since it is already installed. It took a matter of time. So I'll just do this again. So I'm just installing that oh my that attach. Since it is already installed, see it is already installed, so it did not do anything. But if it would have been not installed, that it would give a give an option of installing it quickly. So you can just hit the enter and then it will be installed. And then you need to install these plugins. Now these are actually auto suggestions and syntax highlighting. Syntax highlighting something like this, see syntax highlighted. Auto completion is happening. See helm list. This is all auto completion and syntax highlighting the coloring of the centers. So let me just quickly do this git cloning. Now this is already exists. You can see I've already done it, so it is already exists and it is saying not an empty directory. So in your case, it would be creating a that directory for auto suggestions and then for this also. Sorry. Let me show you the directory that it is talking about. It's saying this is already exists. We see quickly, ls. See, this is already there on the machine. So no need to install it again. Okay, now jumping on quickly. I need to make sure that these things are already added to my this uh, oh my that is such a binary. So this is the binary and how I can get it. So I need to simply come here where I am. I am actually on my home directory and then ls minus la. So this is my that is the charts I'm talking about. Now if I do a cat of this, I'll see plugins. I need to enable that git uh, git auto suggestions and syntax highlighting on this under plugin section. That is what I'm explaining. Simply add it and then do a sourcing again then auto session will start working quickly. That is the second and the important step. Now customize your ZSH to have these kind of settings. So you can see my screen, it's coming nicely on the second line. So, and some fonts are also changed. You can simply come here and then install this power level 19K library. See, git clone. 
is already there you can simply add the thing at this into zhrc binary and these lines should be added into your binary should be there see theme is power level 19k which is inside this folder and these you can see this this icon last prompt prefix and the first prompt prefix see that's what i was trying to tell you so this is done fine now fonts and color is again a very important thing now what happens let me show you what i'm trying to say here is so the tilde character all these things will not come properly the until you install this in your deja vu san mono nerd font because this will help you to display all the utf8 level characters so suppose if i show you the github repository any github repository k3d and if i come inside this folder you see this this icon right this and if i change something right so let me just quickly change something suppose i change this now you'll see git status and see the sign has been changed and something has been changed so these kind of uh, you know changes will come the moment you install this this font okay there is a beauty of this font deja vu san mono nerd font how you can install it if it you are working on linux machine you can simply run this command if you are working on a windows machine just like me and have wsn enabled then you can simply install it like this right okay you need to install it from powershell yeah sorry you need to just run as administrator and then quickly not here sorry again yeah mm, here since in my it is already installed so it will show you the it is installed and now quickly come here and go to setting defaults appearance and you need to select this deja vu song font the moment you select it it will just properly you know come come will come properly and then we will be able to see all these github related icons so this is about point number four which is again very important now uh, we need to redirect the view to zsh uh, binary file so zsh binary file what it will do it will just quickly so why why brew is needed brew is needed suppose if you want to install any particular software so brew is very very helpful to do that so the moment we switch uh, uh, from the bash rc to zh rc binary we need to make sure that this line is being copied so let me show you this line is being copied in my so you need to just simply blindly copy this file so you'll see this line is being copied at the end so this is again point number five if brew is not installed you can simply brew, install the brew with these commands i will not go into much detail the kubectx is a very good command to change the context and change the namespace quickly now this is a reference documentation of kubectx what is kubectx you can simply change the namespace so suppose you are working on ktx so you are working on this k3d mini cube so if i have some other cluster i can simply change the context from here to there and i'm working on this metric so i can change so suppose I want to see how many ports are running. So in this metric, these any ports are running. I can change the matrix namespace to training namespace. Then I can see how many ports are running in this. So this is the beauty of changing the namespace quickly with cube ctx and cube ns. So this is how you can install it. You can simply run this blue install cube ctx. Fairly straightforward, not not take much time. Similarly for cube color. Now you can see you know very beautiful colors are coming in the cube ctl output. So you can simply run this blue install cube color. It will just simply Second, so yeah, it will just install brew cube color. If it is not installed, I'm just doing a quick update. The last and the final step this number eight is see it is already installed. Now make sure that you are having important aliases on your uh, binary file so that it becomes easy for uh, easy easy for you. So I'll just simply show you. Get off. 
See, these are the important aliases. So KGP is nothing but cubetal get pod. KG cubetal get all. KS cubetal HL is ham list. Cubetal is cube color because I'm able to see the color. KTX is nothing but cube. KTX changing the context. KNS is nothing but changing the namespace. MNT is any direct file path to a particular location. So yeah, that is pretty much, and you can find you could do a sourcing of this again at any point in time. So with these quick 10 or 15 minutes, a video you are able to set up from old legacy uh, Unix machine or Unix terminal to your beautify terminal, which is something look pretty pretty fascinating. So I, I hope you like this video. Just quickly run through this and set up your terminal so that your life becomes easy for development perspective. And you know, let me uh, your feedback and queries into the comment section. I hope you like it. Stay tuned for for the videos on the same. Thank you. Bye bye.